Hey, it's Tigal fans, welcome back. No, that's Tigal video. Where today we are back with a nightfall. Unfortunately, I was not able to record the entire strike in its entirety, but I will show you the last part where we are fighting Omnigal. We have just started. We have not. I don't even think we've even done any hits on her. I am running Galahorn, the Oversoul Edict, and the LDR 5001 with solar damage. Uh, so this week's nightfall is with um, uh, Arc. It's all burn, and I do believe it's also light switch. Uh, actually, no, I don't think it is light switch. But did you know it's all burn, uh, epic and heroic or whatever. All that jazz. And so, yeah. So, she's not that hard of a nightfall. I recommend using Fatebringer or Oversoul Edict or basically anything. Or Fang of Our Ute. Uh, I was just, you're, I was use an Arc primary only because, um, there's a lot of things with Arc shields. Um, so yeah. So I'd rec also recommend if you have one, Galhorn. Of course. I mean, like, Galhorn is awesome. Um, but also, if you're Titan, use Rune Wings. I mean, yeah, that, that's that's pretty straight up. But yes, definitely use an Arc, uh, Arc for your primary. This week, nice. This week's next ball, Lightfall, is not too hard. Uh, I've gotten through it pretty easy. We are kind of carrying a level 29, but you know, I don't, I don't really care, because you know, I was once a level 29, and I once did a Nightfall. Um, it's really difficult. Uh, it's fun, a lot of fun though. So you guys have not done the Nightfall, even though if you're like 29, 28, whatever, I would strongly recommend doing it. It's a whole lot of fun. Uh, get some friends together, whatever. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, so one thing to do when you're doing your Nightfall is don't avoid this room up here because there's a glitch currently where this Hive Boomer can shoot you through the wall. And it's not fun. So don't do not do that. Uh, it's not good. Won't end well for you. Also, don't step out of this room if there's a Hive Boomer there, obviously. So, uh, notice how I'm using, so um, this is just Oversoul Edict, uh, 300 attack right now, and it's doing a ton of damage, so definitely use Arc um, as your primary, because there's a lot of Arc things, there's Ascendant um, Knights uh, that come out, and they'll destroy you, oh my gosh, no. Um, there we go, burst them down, just make sure you're careful, make sure you have at least one guy in the back, um, um, is that the level 29? Oh god, yes it is, shoot. Shoot. Uh, if you guys are carrying someone through, uh, just be careful. Uh, don't go out in that room there. So, yeah. The nice thing about all burn is that basically you can use anything you want. Um, so, that's that's kind of nice. I do like that. Uh, let's see. I might need that. No, I cannot need that. Will not need it. Actually, it's just, three, it's just 300 attack. What is my oversight right now? I don't even know. What is this? Oh, 306. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. Still works. Um, one thing to cool, one thing's cool about it, I recommend using the Oversoul Edict for this because it has this, the Dark Breaker, uh, or Paternity, uh, the Wall of Darkness, which is that giant cloud thing and it, it's annoying, so definitely use that if you have it. Um, are we hitting Omnigal now? So basically, what you're gonna do is just kill all the ads and then, you know, just go for Omnigal. Uh, it's not too bad. I mean, it's pretty self explanatory, pretty easy, and all that. Um, watch out for these cursed walls, they'll come after you. And you just gotta shoot them in the head and boom, so. It's also not too bad. I mean, the whole. Oh, uh, Hopefully, we don't wipe. No, really. That that just wasn't fair. That obviously just was not fair. Didn't even give me a chance, man. And, you know that's the problem. I fall. Uh, so I'm using. I recommend using at least one solar because there are shanks that spawn in the first few rooms. Um, the first few rooms aren't too hard, really. Um, just stay back in that room. Watch out for shanks, and I mean, yeah, that's about it. Um, so yeah, definitely have an oversoul edict though. Definitely one on your team, because they're very handy. I can't shoot this guy, but he can shoot me. It's not fair. Yet again, a lot of things in Destiny aren't fair. What you gonna do? You know? What are you gonna do? Uh, I kind of want to need that, but I'm if I do that. You know what? I'm gonna need this guy up here. Just because I can. Is he dead? No, he's a uh, ad. Hmm. I don't know. It's weird. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Boom. Also, wolf pack grounds take him out. Uh, there is a knight over there. Ah, there you are. So I can handle you. That's uh, boom. Ah, dang it. Let's see. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, one thing to, with a nice good trick about, 
uh, what do you call night falls. Um, if you're more than your so, you know, so notice how your health is split up into thirds. If you're below that first third, uh, stop engaging and fall back to health recovery. I find that this really helps me doing my night falls uh, because it keeps a guy alive at all times, and it's good that way. Just, just trust me. Take a word for it. You know. Um, so yeah, there's not much else to say really. Uh, I could just stop, cut the commentary, and you guys will see what I get from this week's Nightfall. If I get a truth, I will scream, because that is basically the only exotic I need to complete, except for um, bounties, of course. Um, oh yeah, if you didn't know, this is actually a little spot you can hide up here. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, let's nade that. Yeah, I got something. Okay. Boom. If you have Water Crota, I would not recommend using that. I mean, Word of Code is good, but like I said, definitely, if you have a Fate Bringer, Over Soul Edict, Fang of Ute, definitely use one of those. They will destroy. Oh, wow, that did a lot of damage. Sweet. Alright, let's do Omnigal. Uh, is she dead yet? Uh, no. Oh, yes, I killed her. Sweet. Alright, guys, that was this week's Nightfall. Very easy, as you, sh as you can see. Nothing special, really. I mean, it's all burned, so it's kind of cool. I got something. Oh, I got... Ah. Let's see. Did anybody get any exotics? I found another NITC. Something I clearly don't need. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's another one for the scrap pile. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I'm evil that way. Sue me. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So, yeah. That was this week's Nightfall, guys. Pretty easy. Got a junk gun, as usual. Um, this is actually kind of weird, because usually, if you guys have seen my Omnigal swag video, you'll see that, uh, basically, Pwn got, uh, an exotic from, oh, wow, oh, and I, oh, oh, someone got Icebreaker, nice, uh, Payback SOS, and another NITC, that's about it, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.